Scottish colorists. The Scottish colorists were a group of four painters, three from Edinburgh, whose post-impressionist work, though not universally recognized initially, came to have a formative influence on contemporary Scottish art and culture. They were Francis Cadell, John Duncan Ferguson, Leslie Hunter and Samuel Peplow. These four artists had much in common, hence the appellation Scottish colorists. The art historian Duncan Macmillan wrote. In the end the justification for continuing to treat them separately though is their collective achievement and international reputation that they have earned as four of the most gifted painters of their generation in Britain. The expression Scottish colorists according to Macmillan may have first been used as early as 1915 in the studio magazine. Its specific association in print, again according to Macmillan, seems to have been first used by T.J. Honeman, the art critic and director of Glasgow Art Gallery, in his book Three Scottish Colorists published in 1950. Why he did not include Ferguson at this point is unclear, but Ferguson seems to have soon been accepted into this group of artists. The four artists did in fact exhibit together, for the first time in 1924 in Paris at an exhibition at the Galerie Barbazanges entitled Les Painters de Elicos. Modern, Billcliffe. The following year, they showed together at an exhibition in London at the Leicester Gallery. History. The Scottish colorists combined their training in France and the work of French Impressionists and Fauvists, such as Monet, Matisse and Cézanne, with the painting traditions of Scotland. A forerunner of this movement was William MacTaggart, 1835-1910, a Scottish landscape painter who was influenced by post-impressionism. He is regarded as one of the great interpreters of the Scottish landscape and is often labelled the Scottish Impressionist. Largely recognised as the leading figure of the group was Samuel Peplow. The other Scottish colourists were Francis Cadell, John Duncan Ferguson and Leslie Hunter. They absorbed and reworked the strong and vibrant colours of contemporary French painting into a distinctive Scottish idiom during the 1920s and 1930s. Their subject matter is often considered conservative compared to their French counterparts, since much of it consisted of island landscapes, Edinburgh interiors and fashionable models, their style was confident and vibrant. The Scottish colorists were internationally known during their lifetimes but their work fell out of favor by World War II, until they were rediscovered in the 1980s and subsequently played an influential role in the development of Scottish art. Their work is featured in the Aberdeen Art Gallery in Aberdeen, Scotland, the J. D. Ferguson Gallery in Perth, Scotland, the University of Stirling, Paisley Museum and Art Galleries and the Scottish National Gallery of Modern Art in Edinburgh. Some of Leslie Hunter's paintings can be seen in the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery. The Kirkcaldy Museum and Art Gallery is said to house the largest collection of works by Peplow and McTaggart. From the 18th of October 2019, the 1st of February 2020 Abbott Hall Art Gallery, Kendall, hosted an exhibition of the Scottish colorists largely based on works from the Fleming Collection.
Notes and References McEwen, PJM, The Dictionary of Scottish Art and Architecture, 2nd Edition, 2004, Glen Garden Press, Bowlater, 620 pp, over 12,000 references and bibliography. Macmillan, D, Scottish Art 1460-2000, 2000, 2000, Mainstream Publishing, Edinburgh and London, for 6 for pp, 369 illustrations, a magisterial work, see Chapter 17 The Colourists. Honeman, TJ, 1950, Three Scottish Colourists, Thomas Nelson and Sons Limited, London. Billcliffe, R, The Scottish Colourists, 1989, John Murray, London, 176 pp with 136 colour plates. The Scottish Colourists. Explore Art. Retrieved 26 October 2012. The Scottish Colourists. Visit scotland.com. Archived from the original on 29 April 2008. Retrieved 25 June 2008. Cram, Miriam, July 2000. The Scottish Colourists. Magazine Antiques. Archived from the original on 5 October 2009. Retrieved 25 June 2008. Book, The Scottish Colourists 1900-1930 Philip Long and Elizabeth Arrangement.